There is so much dopamine involved in all of these upgrades that I can't possibly stop myself. So to start, let's just spend our leftover $10,000 on bolt damage. And the best part is, once you max out upgrades, there's more upgrades. It just unlocks more and more and more. We're on to Prestige 7. And given our uh, ridiculous amount of damage, I think we're going to be able to push through this pretty easily. Plus there's the whole, the more we kill, the more uh, HP we get. And our HP regenerates by a percentage, so the more things we kill, basically we'll become unstoppable. And I imagine killing idiots on this level is going to get us so many resources. The boss appeared and my session was terminated. I'm not sure if I won or lost, but I guess I won because it's unlocked and we got 15,000 pieces. I'm going to put those all into my crypto mine right away because we need those green points more than anything. Then we're going to try Prestige 8. And our damage seems to be uh, falling off a little bit on this level, but that's not a surprise. Every level gets a lot stronger. They're even starting to chunk away at my health. Definitely not able to kill every single little thing here, but we did make 9,000 in a hurry. But using our purple points, we can make our attack size bigger. That's now maxed out as well. And our purple point can go here, restore 0.5 health when picking up resources. I think that's worth it. We're also going to scale back to Prestige 7. I can last longer here and I think we'll make more money for our effort. Also, our laser beams that uh, span outwards, they now explode when they expire. and That seems to be doing lots of damage as well. Any AoE is really appreciated here. And look how big our square is getting. It's even bigger than their big squares. So on Prestige 7, by the time we die, 33,000. Which makes for a whole lot of green elsewhere. We can get 50,000 more max health. And it would seem stupid not to do that. We can also regenerate a further 2% HP per second. Uh, let's double that so that we get 8% per second. We do also have 5 SP points. So let's get more attack pulse bolts. So we're now maxed out on those as well. 10% chance to critical hit. Let's turn that up to now 80% chance to critical hit and more crit damage. Also 25% damage to uh, idiots below 50% HP. Ooh, now look at all of our orbs going out. I could sit right in the middle and pretty much uh, kill everything. Then I could just swoop around every once in a while and pick it all up. And I still need to remember every time I kill something I get max HP. This is very therapeutic. I sit back and destroy shapes, I collect upgrades, and I can just scale that bigger and bigger and bigger for hours. I feel like I'm almost lasting too long at this point. Because they lasted so long, 104,000. And a lot of blue points as well, so there's another 50,000 max HP. And here's a fun one, get damage equal to 0.1% of max health. So the more health we have, the more damage we do. So pretty safe to say our damage just went absolutely bananas with that last upgrade. 0.1% of 228,000 is a real big number. If my tired mental math is correct, I think we added 228 damage. The last upgrades we were doing were 100 at a time, so 228 currently, but the more things we kill, the higher our health goes, therefore the higher our damage. Here comes a boss, let's see if we can actually do any damage to that. Yep, we're actually really destroying the boss. I wanted some resources first, but that's fine. These 20 whatever thousand are going to get turned into other points, and we're also going to increase the speed of this one more time. And then it's very much right back to work. Uh, this level, we're definitely still killing things, but we're taking so much damage every time we kill things that it's going to be a slow process. I'm just hoping we're getting enough resources that it's worth it. Well, that was 11,000 and it didn't take very long at all, so I think we're going to stick here for a while. Ooh, we're even getting a new shape. We got some kind of star thing showing up. That's probably worth so many resources. One upgrade we really need is Insatiable. Increase max health permanently by 8 per enemy killed. We just need more green points, so back to the crypto mine, back to make sacrifices. A few runs later, we've got a milestone accomplished, and those feel good because these can be really, really re rewarding at this point. 30,000 reds. But we can also add 50,000 max health. That's going to add us some damage for sure. And we can add 100,000 max health above that with some more resources. But I've got to feed my very hungry crypto mine at this point, and I can also uh, double its output. After converting all that, we can afford insatiable. So now we're going to get an absurd amount of health for every enemy we kill, and that translates simply into damage. And I can instantly feel that extra damage. We are chewing through these just that much faster, and that means all the more rewards for us. Another milestone has been done. 800 blues is actually a big amount of resources. 10% chance to automatically collect enemy loot when it drops. That's a big one too. We'll take two levels of that. I didn't even see the spawn rate thing before. So we can get, wow, huge amounts of spawn rate. Those are 400 each. That's 2000% spawn rate. And it feels like it. We are being swarmed by enemies very quickly, and that's a very good thing to happen. The game is starting to lag just a touch when a lot of different things go off. I might have to turn up the flashing effect also, but there is 22,000 in an instant. We're also going to add two pulse bolts per attack, and then that's going to lead us towards this one. I'm also going to uh, fix my pickup range so we have max pickup range as well, so I need to cursor around less. 
uh, 50% crit damage and back to work. Now we got all those pulses going out everywhere doing tons of damage. They're really doing most of the work for me. And we are also automatically picking up a lot of resources. We're also leaving a lot on the ground, but our HP is going up. We're at almost 300,000. So that then we earn 38,375 blues, 1 SP. We're going to finish off 100% damage to undamaged enemies. And we still need 20 points into this. This is going to give us lots of armor that's going to help us stay alive, especially at the way uh, we regenerate. So that's maxed out, and now we get 50% armor when attacking 8 or less enemies. Sure, why not? And we could do that a few times. We can also get armor equal to 1% max health. That's a huge one. So we'll do that a few times. And then we're still going to need a lot of greens to get extra extra armor. But this should help us last longer. Especially against this giant onslaught of idiots. HP regeneration is probably going to be our best case of survival. But armor is going to help anyway. And we found the boss here on this prestige level. Uh, I don't actually want to kill it yet because we're farming so many points. Okay, well, you had to die. 67,000. I'm not even going to grab any upgrades before we start prestige 10. I just want to dive straight in and gather all these beautiful resources. The game is definitely starting to lag pretty hard. Uh, it's got a lot of different things to process, though, to be fair. The enemies are getting so tough, though. Like, I've got to hit them so many times, even with all this damage. We'll find out soon if it's worth it. I feel like I'm mostly just hurting them, not really necessarily killing them. There's the boss that's definitely killing us. Well, we're actually just scraping by, but I think we're pretty well at the end of the line. Oh, well, actually, our HP will come back. Maybe we can defeat this thing. Got it. Also completed a milestone, no surprise there, where you're destroying everything. So we can upgrade our crypto mines. Speaking of which, uh, we're going to need more of those points, so there's 120,000 into the crypto mines. We're taking one step back to Prestige 10 again, because we'll make lots of easy money here. Looks like we're still going to need some damage. Well, since we have an 80% to crit, let's just increase crit damage by 100%. Also, 5% chance to create chaining lightning when hitting an enemy. That sounds like something we could work with. And 50% lightning damage? Yes. And we can use our SP on making the lightning chain more times. So now we get lightning and massive critical hits. We can definitely feast on levels like this where we really can wipe most of the screen because each one of those is like 10, 10 HP for us. Even on Prestige 10, the enemies do still get tougher and tougher and tougher to the point where we can't really kill many of them. So we're up to 100% crit chance at this point as well. Uh, we're also going to have the lightning chain one more time and another 50% lightning damage. We're also going to have a drone that's going to be nearby attacking. So the light blue square beside me must be one of the drones. We got some drones that'll go around and attack and we got definitely far damaging lightning. I've realized also I could probably leave my cursor right here and turn the auto clicker on and leave this running for like 12 hours and see what lights on fire. It's been many hours, I have no idea how the game didn't crash, but we've got a lot of resources on the ground. We also have 2.85 million HP, I'm gonna move around and try and collect some of these. Wow, the game's actually handling it perfectly fine. It's not quick, but it's doing it. So let's go ahead and terminate and see how many points we've got. I actually thought it would be a lot more than that. That's only 623,000 and one yellow point. We did manage to complete a few milestones naturally overnight. There's another 1,600 of those, one yellow, 50,000 reds, 2,000 blues, 100,000 reds, 4,000 blues, a million reds, 8,000 blues. I think we got pretty much all of these. So it looks like a few digits might have been left out. We actually have 149 yellows and 20 million reds. And that makes a lot more sense because the game was playing itself for like 12 hours. The first thing we're going to do is speed up our crypto mine. It can currently do 1800 per second and now it can do 32,000 per second. And you know what? Let's go a little bit more there. 100,000 per second. So if you want to give it 1 million of these, it will tear through them in no time. Like that actually took 10 seconds to get through it all. And it's done and now we can afford lots of upgrades. So let's add 100,000 max HP 5 times. So there's 500,000. This one just says 2 infinity. I don't know if I want to touch that one yet, but we will shortly because that might be like a real prestige. Uh, we now restore more of our max HP and we can restore 10 HP when hitting an enemy. That branches out to restore one max health when uh, hitting an enemy. 10% chance to automatically collect loot when it drops. We now have an 80% chance to collect loot as it drops. Boss damage, we get an extra 700%. We still have 18 million points left over, 50% uh, crit damage, so there's an extra 250% crit damage, uh, plus 200, uh, just a lot. We're actually out of green tokens already, that's actually crazy. 
So we'll put, uh, I don't know, another 3 million into this thing. Should chew through that in 30 seconds. 100% damage to enemies below 50%. That'll help finish them off. 1% damage for every second during a session. Hmm, that probably stacked up overnight. Okay, we now have a 25% chance to create chain lightning. And the lightning damage is going up by a lot. And lightning's going to chain that many times. Uh, also more drone action. The drone is going to have a faster pulsar speed and attack auto speed. 100% damage to pulse bolts also. And then all destroyed enemies have 1% chance to explode into pulse spots. And our finally big crit damage. That costed a lot of green points, but we have giant crit damage. Uh, the auto pulsars, we're losing our special points, but we do have a few of those. See, this is why I don't want to use my purples. I wish I could just use red. 50% armor when attacking 8 enemies or less. That's now maxed out. 200 armor. Uh, so we now have tons and tons and tons of armor. And gain armor equal to 5% max health. Our max health is absolutely insane, so that's a ton of armor. Gain 1% armor for every second this session done all in all it's just a lot of upgrades to infinity uh going nowhere okay i guess they just go upwards the void so we're chasing mysterious upgrades that seemingly do nothing but let's jump on to prestige 11 which is the maximum available and see how this feels so far uh we're having trouble even seeing the square spawning on the edge of the map because we're just <laughs> doing so much damage we should probably mention too obviously the more hp we have the more damage we do and our hp went up a lot it looks like it's 3,359,000, but it could be 10 or 100 times that. I guess we killed the boss. It was somewhere out there. So I guess I have to click this just so we can get max level everything down here. Now we just got to work our way upwards. Uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to put a few more dollars, millions into the crypto mine and we're going to upgrade its speed a little bit. Can now do uh, 1 million. I think it's actually maxed out. 1,280,000 per second. On to prestige 12. Let's find the boss. I really don't have to try anymore. I can just sit anywhere and everything dies. We also don't actually see when the boss arrives because they sort of just die as soon as they're anywhere on the map. So we're going up past the void into no return. But we've gone well beyond infinity so far. Another boss defeat, another 220,000 resources, and another useless square upwards. Oh, we're deviating to the side. A few of these later, it's starting to say in the distance, something happens. So another two levels, something happens, event horizon. That means we're getting close, right? Singularity, we can only go so far up. This is Prestige 20, we're still making it look easy. After that monumentally challenging task, singularity, oh, we're branching out to different things. Unlock the laboratory tab. An increased enemy yellow spawn rate. That costs a thousand, that's actually really expensive. Luckily we're filthy, filthy rich. Okay, so we're going to unlock the laboratory tab. God Virus Research Lab. Research progress. Okay, so if we... Oh, maybe it's because I'm out of green points. All right, to the crypto mine. You can have that many millions. Three seconds left, two seconds left, one second left. It's really expensive to finish this. So we're going to be here for a while. At least I think we are. The earnings are getting pretty high for every level we complete. Finishing Prestige 21 gave me three and a half million points. I uh, decided I'd let the game take care of itself for a little while, and this is the result. We're getting a few frames per second. I don't actually know where my cursor is at this point. I'm just trying to get to the terminate thing so I can make it stop. Okay, managed to work my way over there. We got this many points. And the game might have broken. Turns out that's nothing a little restart couldn't solve. We have 424 million points to our name. We want to finish the lab, so that means we've got to get crypto mining. We're going to spend millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. I figure it's probably safe to leave $350 million in the bank just for a rainy day. And that looks like it's going to do as well because we're already at almost 500. So that's going to take us there. So we need 316 more. I'm actually annoyed at how long this part is taking me. I just want it to be done now. But we can click incrementally there. We still need more. We just spent like $100 million on these things. So we're going to leave $300 million in the bank then. That way we can finish the lab. And we're done. Virus ready. The virus has been deployed and I think we're melting everything. It's the second time I've broken the game in this many minutes. Okay, that's it. On to the next one.